Welcome to the necropsy floor at the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab in the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University. I'm Kelly Alms, one of the veterinary anatomic pathologists here at the laboratory. And here on this necropsy floor, every veterinary student will spend three weeks of their clinical rotation performing necropsy exams with one of our six board certified um, anatomic pathologists and one of our resident pathologists in training. There's about six to eight students per rotation, and each day they will perform about four to six necropsies, depending on the day, which comes out to about a thousand necropsies per year. These necropsies are performed on a variety of species, from dogs to cats, cattle, lions, and rhinoceros. We have a lot of regional zoos, and with our outstanding exotic service in the Veterinary Health Center, we see frequent exotic submissions, along with our routine pet and farm animal species. Each necropsy examination consists of a full post-mortem exam, similar to an autopsy in humans, and often has sample collection for additional testing. This testing and these results from these necropsies are used for making decisions of why an animal died, why an animal was sick, or maybe to make decisions for the rest of the herd that is still alive. This valuable information helps our referring veterinarians, producers across the state of Kansas and beyond, as well as pet owners. This floor is also utilized uh, besides diagnostic necropsy time to help teach our second year veterinary students during their pathology courses. And it is also used by a large number of researchers within the College of Veterinary Medicine and all across campus.